Hi there, welcome to the Building Your Tiny House Dream video tutorial series. I'm Chris, I run a company called Tiny Industrial, and along with the book of the same title, Building Your Tiny House Dream, I'll be showing you how to build this exact house. So follow along, I'll be releasing a new video every Wednesday, and hit subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. All right, after attaching everything to the trailer, let's get back to the business of doing this doorway. And that's what today's episode is all about. I'm measuring out the height of the door. It's gonna go with six feet, intending more like an inch or two less than that now, just because I don't want to get up too high towards the, you know, the crest of the ceiling. So I think I'm going to go with like either 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, that type of thing. And what we're going to do is you see the two 2 by 4s behind me here. We're going to space those exactly in the middle, 26 inches apart. The inner measurement is going to be 26 inches. I'm going to go up 5 feet 10 inches and then there will be a uh, piece that goes across those, those two uprights. The back has obviously been mounted in there now. We're gonna mount the two by fours to the back. That's gonna leave a piece sticking up and over the top edge back there. That's what we're gonna mount the top piece to. So it'll, it'll, uh, it'll all line up real nice. But yeah, I think five feet, 11 inches is gonna be the, uh, the, uh, the number to go for. Uh, this piece, is this piece is a 33 inch piece and that is a result of 26 inches door width three and a half two by four on one side three and a half two by four on the other side is seven inches 26 and seven is 33 everyday math and just untie my shoelace There's the top of your door. Boom. 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 Pretty big door. Pretty decent sized door. And there's the door. Well, not yet, but we're gonna cut the door out. It's a little bigger than I expected it to be, but I think it's a good size. I think that'll work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some windows probably to that end. And here and there. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna cut that back door out because it gets a little bit cumbersome climbing over this, uh, this edge all the time. That's pretty much the only way in here at the moment. So we're gonna cut that out. There's actually a trick I'll show you. It seems like it would be tricky to do because, well, it's a little hard to get in, in close because of the, the two by fours on this side. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna send a screw through each uh, of the four corners of the door. And what that'll indicate on the other side is uh, it'll create a shape that we're going to uh, put a line on, either by a chalk line or similar. And then what we'll do is we'll take those screws back out, we'll drill one of those corners open, large enough to get a, a jigsaw blade in there, and then we're just going to cut out the entire shape. It makes it pretty easy uh, to do it that way. And then we have a way in and out. Um, we can reinforce the, uh, the structure there a little bit, a couple more screws. So. Here we have the door, like I said, four corners to the door. We're going to send a screw through the corner. What does that do for us? Well, where the screw comes out on the other side is exactly indicative of where the corner is um, of the door, the top right hand corner, I guess, or left hand if you're standing in front of the house. When we do the same thing over here, when we do that, we 
now know the exact top of the door. We know the exact distance. So basically if we, we draw a chalk line in between these two screws as they come out on the other side, we can create a line here. We know exactly where we need to cut to be inside of this two by four and to get rid of this piece right here. Let me make it abundantly clear. Gone, gone, that's what we want. So we've got those two, there's two other corners to the door. So I'm gonna send a screw through on the bottom as well and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. All right, so it's a little hard to see back here, but we've got one of the screws coming out right here, and the other one's over here. And then we also have one down there, and one down here. So, perfect rectangle on this side. Now let's sort of sketch, sketch it out. I'm gonna snap some chalk lines, and then we'll uh, take another look, all right? Okay, I think that's a little bit clearer now. We've got the rectangular shape all figured out here. I'm gonna take, go back onto the other side. I'm gonna take the screws out and drill one or two holes up there. And then we're gonna start with the jigsaw on this side. And we're gonna, you know, cut the shape out. It doesn't have to be perfect on the first pass. But these chalk lines and doing it this way really makes it a lot less guesswork. It also shows us where we put these screws and they were pretty darn close. But yes, we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna take the screws out again. We don't need them anymore. You can't cut with the screws in there. So anyway, let's do that. Actually, you know one thing I'm gonna do. You can see remnants of it on here. Uh, if you put painter's tape on the bottom of a, a saw like this, it'll prevent the metal from sort of scratching up your paint job already. It's just a good thing to do. The painter's tape tends to get torn up and messed up pretty quick, but you know, if you redo it a couple times, it's just, it's just less damaging on the paint that you already worked so painstakingly hard to put on there. So um, I'm going to recover the bottom of this thing before I continue to cut something I thought of right when I started cutting down there. Good idea to, uh, to unplug the saw when you're doing this because you don't want to accidentally hit the, you know, the button. Cut your finger off. Use your fingers. All of them. There, that's more like it. That's gonna just slide better on the uh, paintwork. You can protect it. Here we go. It's not bad. It's still kind of roughing up the paint a little bit, but get there. down like that is actually more difficult. I'm gonna go up from the bottom again like I did on the other side. Try to hit that right there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's, it's pretty darn close, so that's good. Yeah, that actually was pretty good. Pretty close to the edge. All right, so what have I done here? I took this piece off of here. Why? Because, got to admit your own mistakes. I forgot to put some nice construction adhesive on there. Um, just for overall strength of the unit. 
pretty easy to fix. There were only about four or five screws holding that in place at the moment. We're going to slather on some nice, uh, a nice thick coating of construction glue, put it back into place, and the screws that I took out will go right back into the same holes that they were in before. Then we'll repeat the process for this piece and for this piece as well. You do them one at a time, nothing's gonna fall apart, nothing's gonna shift or whatever. So this is an easy correction. Sometimes they're not this easy, but I get a little wrapped up in, in making the video. So it's an oversight on my part. My apologies, this should have been done beforehand.